Today we're going to talk about blasting and cruising versus cycling on and off um, and why I think blasting and cruising is the better option for bodybuilding purposes. Um, so before I do that, uh, please take the time to subscribe to my channel. I get a lot of people watching, not many people subscribing. Uh, the more subscribers I have, the better it is for the algorithm. For the algorithm, uh, my videos will show, more people will come to my channel, and more videos will get made. Um, if you appreciate the videos I'm making, I would really uh, would like for you to subscribe. Uh, that's the, your way of showing thanks to me. Um, also, if you enjoy the video, please like. Uh, if you have suggestions for other videos, or if you have questions you would like me to answer, happy to answer any questions you have, please put them in the comment section below. Um, I will do my best to answer any and all questions, uh, probably directly in the message, and I'm going to use them in future Q&As. Um, and uh, also, if you want to get in contact with me um, or follow me personally, you can do so on Instagram. My Instagram handle is Paul K. Barnett. Uh, my uh, email address is also below, down in the description, if you want to get in contact with me. Uh, so blasting a cruising versus, uh, cycling on and off. So if you're not familiar with the blasting and cruising, the concept of blasting and cruising, uh, I don't know. It's been around since the nineties. I think, um, guys used to cycle on and off all the time. That was kind of the old school way of doing things. Um, uh, but blasting and cruising is basically you keep a base level of testosterone, pr probably TRT or TRT plus, I would call it, a little bit higher than TRT year round. Um, um, and you'll cycle up or basically you'll push your dosages up, bring your dosages back down um, and phased uh, in a phased approach. Generally, you'll have an off season phase when you're um trying to increase hypertrophy and you'll push your doses dosages if i can talk this morning up um and then you'll bring them back down for a period of time to let your body um heal and so it's not taking the stress from and blasting so many hormones and then you'll usually have a second phase where you're in a contest prep phase uh where you're using different sorts of drugs uh hormones uh, to achieve the result of achieve a uh, getting in contest shape essentially uh, cycling on and off you'll take a prescribed period of time do the drugs the hormones and then come off for a period of time supposedly to let your system recover and increase your androgen receptor sensitivity um why I think for bodybuilding purposes, coming on and off is just unproductive. Um, you know, most studies have shown, at least what I've seen, after you've done a, a some, somewhere around 12 weeks of testosterone, it takes up to six months to completely recover your natural test production. Okay. I don't know many guys that cycle off for six months. If you are, you know, if you fall into that category, like let's say if you're just doing one little blast a year to get ready for summer, to look good for the beach, then you're probably, probably would make sense for you to cycle on and off. Um, if you're serious about bodybuilding, what you're doing, you know, the, the whole thing that you're, it increases your androgen receptor sensitivity, that's been proven to be mostly bunk. Um, there's actually new studies now that show that uh, uh, constantly using androgens upregulates your androgen receptor <laughs> production. So you, so if you're continually blasting andro androgens, you're going to have your body's making more androgen receptors because you have more muscle tissue. It makes sense when you think about it. Um, and the whole sensitivity thing, you know, maybe there is some merit to it, but I, I don't know. I don't. I think it's mostly bullshit and when you come down to a cruise you're gonna let it resensitize anyway hey, you know the whole thing of cycling off for i've heard a guy cycling off for six or eight weeks if, if you're taking things like deca equipoise testosterone and anthate 
that stuff's still going to be in your system even after six weeks. So there's no point in cycling off. You're still on, but you're what you're doing is creating a hormone roller coaster uh, where you're just going to feel awful. And anybody who's ever taken HCG and Clomid and things like that to get your HTPA going again, they make you feel like shit. You get weak. You don't feel like training. You're emotional. You get sick. You lose your gains, and then you spend the next, <laughs> the, you know, the first eight weeks of your next cycle just regaining what you lost. Uh, you know, to me, it's unproductive uh, for bodybuilding. It may be healthier. I don't know. I don't even know if that's true. True. I I would think, you know, there could be an argument made that. <laughs> Bringing your hormones up and down all the time is probably worse for you um, in the long run. Your body likes to be in a state of homeostasis. So when you're constantly rocking that homeostasis, uh, you're probably, I, I would imagine you're putting more stress on your body. I, this is just speculation on my part. Um, my, my preference is, I think, if you're serious about bodybuilding, I'm not telling you what to do, but for me, I blast and cruise. I I will slowly push my dosages up to achieve a result. Then I'll back them down for a period of time to the TRT level. Usually I'll take something like 200 or 250 milligrams of test a week for a period of a couple months, six, eight weeks, something like that, just to let my body clear out. Um, and you don't lose your gains. You, you, it's pretty easy, you know, if you're on TRT, it's pretty, it doesn't take much gear to maintain what you have is what I'm saying. But if you come off completely, you're going to crash. I promise you that. And you're going to feel like shit. Uh, and you're going to lose part of your gains. Um, so I don't know. I just don't think it's productive for bodybuilding purposes. Uh, if you're scared about completely ruining your natural testosterone production, I would suggest don't even take this stuff to begin with, if that's if that's a concern for you. I will tell you this, and I, the, this is not me condoning year-round use, but this has just been my experience. I was on for five years straight in my 20s. I came off, did a PCT, and immediately got my wife pregnant. <laughs> so shit still worked. Um we had two kids after that, um, and I didn't take anything for like 10 years. I stayed off. Um, and I will tell you, when I was off, at that point, my my body was completely thrown out of whack. My estrogen was too high. Um, you know, I did, my test for production recovered to a certain degree. Uh, but I, I just tell people to think of this as being like being bitten by the vampire. It, it, if you're going to be a bodybuilder, you're going to take gear. It's probably a lifelong commitment to be on at least HRT. That's just how it is. So if you're not willing to pay the price the for immortality to be a vampire, then don't get bitten by the vampire. <laughs> That's what gear is. If you don't want to go down that path, then don't go down that path. Um, if you're dead serious about bodybuilding, just understand that that's part part of the part of the deal, uh, part of the price that you have to pay. Um, you know, my advice is always don't go down that path. Uh, but we each have our own journey. I would say if you do go down that path, I think the safer way to go is to use safe compounds, stuff that are not as risky to your health. Stay away from the fucking morals. I, I say it a million goddamn times. Um, people don't want to hear it. Um, the orals will fuck you up. Um, if you abuse them for more than, you know, if you're taking them for more than four to six weeks at a time, you're going to pay the price. Um, monitor your lipids, eat healthy, stay away from alcohol and recreational drugs. Try to live a clean lifestyle, other, otherwise mitigate health factors. Blast and cruise, um, and I think is the most productive way to um, do gear when you're bodybuilding. You have questions, ask them. I'll answer them. Take care, guys.